Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. Is there anything you regret doing in the past? When we're young, we make mistakes, a lot of them, but that's one way we learn and grow as humans. We learn from our mistakes and we can become stronger from any pain we may have experienced. But wouldn't it be nice to know which mistakes many young people make and ultimately regret later on in life? Well, we've gathered a few of them here for you today. Here are five mistakes young people regret later in life. Number one, they try to please everyone. Have you ever had a classmate or a colleague who disliked you or a teacher who can't see eye to eye with you on certain things? Do you spend a lot of energy trying to be someone you're not just to please others? Many young people hope to be friends with every coworker, classmate, or boss. Good idea. But where things can go wrong is when people start to change who they are or suppress their needs to please just about everyone. There will always be someone out there that disagrees with you or simply doesn't like you. Can't help it. So it's best not to bend over backwards to impress or please everyone. It doesn't mean you need to be rude or disrespectful to those who dislike you, but it does mean that you try your best to accept the situation and not worry unnecessarily. In the long term, they may just not matter in your life. Number two, they don't save money. Do you spend all your money as soon as your paycheck comes in? Or do you put it in a savings account? Planning ahead for retirement, emergencies, and investments is a good idea while you're young because they'll certainly pay off in the future. A recent survey from Bankrate found that out of every 1,003 people, 69% aged 18 to 29 had absolutely no savings for their retirement. Better to save now. A good idea for starters is to always take a fixed amount out of your paycheck, put it in your savings, and act as if it's not part of your income at all. It's for your savings. Number three spending their money just to impress others. What are your thoughts on having the latest trends or the newest devices? Is it a necessity or a luxury? Would you buy them just to impress your friends or because you genuinely like them? It's okay to treat yourself from time to time as long as we're managing our finances properly. Number four, they give up too easily. What are your goals and aspirations? Achieving our long-term goals can take a lot of hard work and dedication. Some young people make many goals and have strong dreams, but give up on them early when they realize the work they'll need to put in. For some, at the first sign of failure. Failing one task doesn't mean you should give up on all of them. You can learn from your mistakes and get back up again stronger and aware of what not to do, which means you're only closer to getting it right this time. And number five, they don't continue learning and they don't invest in themselves. Do you set aside some time every day to learn and grow as a human being? Do you do something you're passionate about, study something new, read an interesting book, or learn a new skill? We don't have all the time in the world, but each day we spend focused on growing and educating ourselves makes us so much more knowledgeable in the long run. Read an hour a day and see how that pays off in a year. Maybe you wanna learn Italian, study a new language daily for half an hour for starters and see how fluent you become in two years time. Your future self will thank you when they're off in Italy speaking fluent Italian. You won't become the master of all trades in one day. These things all take time, but you will surely become sharper and more informed every day if you put the time and effort into what you desire. Just remember not to give up too early. So, which of these mistakes will you strive not to make? Share with us in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. And as always, thanks so much for watching.